Welcome back to the garage guys. On today's video, we're gonna finish up the interior prep and then lay down some paint. On the last video, I went ahead and showed all of the prep work that I had done to kind of get all the gunk and nastiness off the old stock interior walls. Uh, a lot of wire wheeling, a lot of acetone, a lot of sanding, heavy sandpaper. Initially, I was just going to rattle can it and call it good, but then I got the harebrained idea of how good of a paint job can you get, or can I get, with a rattle can. And I'll be honest, that idea cost me almost four weeks of sanding, priming, and painting. Not to mention this two-part video series covering it. But what are you going to do? Anyway, last week's video covered all the hard work of this endeavor. This week we're going to finish off the prep and lay down some paint. I'm going to be using bright orange. It's not really bright orange. It's just straight Rust-Oleum orange for the interior and the exterior color. And to, in order to make this color really pop, it's best that you don't use a dark primer. So I went and got my shield. I found, you know, Rust-Oleum has a regular primer. It's light gray. Uh, this will make this orange color pop a lot more because having a light base and this over the top it just seems to uh, radiate, for lack of a better word, it just seems not to suck the color in like the dark primer does. And then when I was at Harbor Freight getting that light that you see in there now, um, I noticed that they had their own self etching primer. And it is a slightly a lighter color than the Rust-Oleum. So I'm going to try this stuff on the inside, see what happens. Uh, make that insides pop a little bit more. So just remember, if you're using a light color, use a light primer. And if you're using a dark color, like black or something like that, go ahead and use a dark primer. It just allows that, get that color to a little bit more true to what you see on the cap on the can. Anyway, just a little thought in my head. Thought you guys would enjoy it. As I get into sanding again, I wanted to note that I've been stepping up the sandpaper grit. I started off, of course, with 80 grit and 150, but those left sizable scratches. So using multiple layers of filler primer, I filled and smoothed the big scratches. Here I am using 400 grit. After the finer sanding, I use soapy water and an alcohol wipe to wipe down and remove excess debris. Then another healthy layer of filler primer went down to fill the scratches left over from the 400 grit paper. Then I started working my way around with 600 grit. And this got the primer super smooth, at least to the touch. A quick vacuum of any leftover dust and debris. I wiped down with a dry, clean cloth. Then a soapy water sponge bath. The alcohol wipe was then brought out again to re-wipe the whole surface of any leftover oil and grime. Here's the finished product of all the prep. Now all I need to do is do a final tack cloth wipe immediately before painting. With prep work done, it's time to paint. 
I had the idea to go ahead and hang the shop light from the roof so that I can have access to the light but not have to hold it up while I'm concentrating on the paint. Let the painting begin. I put down the first layer super light. My thought was to get a quick tack before laying heavier coats. Here's the second layer. This and every layer after is going to be much heavier than the first. The first coat, I gotta admit, was kind of splotchy looking. Um, I slowed this part down to show that I'm actually trying to take my time here and get good layers of paint. The third and fourth coat went on in a similar manner. I didn't wait too long between layers. I just kept working around the interior, trying not to get myself dizzy. You can really see the paint starting to lay down smooth and there isn't any obvious contamination. I'm getting hopeful. Well guys, by the looks of things, something was painted orange today. <laughs> it's, it's everywhere. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, it's been sitting for about an hour, so it is still curing up oh yeah I'm, i'll be honest i am very pleased with that reflection oh my gosh that that's just very nice very nice all right now that i'm inside that actually came out really nice oh thank goodness man you have no idea i was stressing I was really stressing. A little bit of orange peel in there. Wow. Very nice. Okay, cool. Good off the back. With the other side. It's not perfect, but it'll do. I gotta sweep all the floor. The, the. Didn't focus on the dash because it's going to be covered by a dash pad. But if not, it's nice to. Uh, it's definitely got some gloss to her now. With, uh, that makes me happy. Holy crap! I cannot even tell you. Man, oh, I'm so worried that I couldn't get a decent shine with spray paint. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, look at that. I like it. Dang. Okay, cool. That's a pretty good shine right there. I 
that's a really good shot. Even on that wheel hump, which I didn't spend too much time on. Okay, so you can get a decent shine out of a uh, rattle can. <laughs> Very happy. For the record, again, here's my supplies. I use Harbor Freight sandpaper along with some sanding blocks made from their foam floor mats. I use Rust-Oleum paint, including the self-etching primer, the filler primer, and the regular orange. I also used some Harbor Freight self-etching primer. The acetone came from Home Depot. The isopropyl alcohol came from Walgreens. And the final wipe was with the tack cloths I got from my local auto parts store. By this count, it took six to seven cans of paint to do the interior, not including primer. There was way more primer used, maybe like two times more. Anyway, guys, that wraps up this video. I hope you found it interesting. And if you're looking at doing something similar to your project, I would say go for it. it cost me under $200 in materials. It did take a lot of time, but the big thing is the results I think are amazing. Anyway, please like and subscribe if you like this video, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Damien, and this is The Binder Builder.